So uh, what exactly is extended producer responsibility? Extended producer responsibility establishes a system in which the financial responsibility for products through the end of their life is shifted upstream to producers of those products. And how do extended producer responsibility policies work? Uh, well, uh, states or countries uh, adopt policies that may require producers to pay a fee that's associated with their goods to a producer responsibility organization. And then these organizations can use the revenues for the expansion of recycling infrastructure and for uh, consumer education. Consumer packaging materials like plastic, like cardboard or aluminum vary, as we know, very greatly with respect to their recyclability. Some materials, such as paper, have more viable uh, products, uh, more viable markets, rather, for repurposing than, uh, than others. And we're pretty good in this country at recycling uh, paper. Extended producer responsibility policies can consider these differences in materials in their fee structure which can incentivize producers to make more packages uh, uh, sustainable. For example, in Colorado, they are working to establish a program where fees will be assigned to goods based on their environmental impact. Products uh, that are more easily reused or recycled may have a lower associated fee for the producer to pay. And difficult to recycle uh, repack repackaging, like plastic films, may have a higher associated fee. And in order to pay a lower fee into the system in Colorado, producers can make uh, packaging that has a lower environmental cost. Programs in several other states have also shown a real uh, potential. Uh, among them, California, uh, Oregon, and uh, Maine have recently established extended producer responsibility package, uh, policies for packaging, regardless of the material type. As more states adopt these policies, it's critical that the federal government understand how to support extended producer responsibility efforts moving forward. We're hoping that today's discussion sheds light onto some of the activity going on in our states and what the pro uh, proper role of the federal government should be. Extended producer responsibility policies can also help drive recycling rates up. Since the producer responsibility organizations and governments can use the revenue they generate to improve recycling uh, infrastructure for hard to recycle materials and to expand access to recycling in communities, including rural communities. Right now, consumer packaging makes up approximately a third of all pa uh, plastics produced. I'll say that again. Consumer packaging makes up approximately a third of all plastics uh, produced. And sadly, as we know, plastics are not commonly recycled in, in America. According to the EPA, in 2018, less than 9% of plastics were recycled in the US. Let me just say that again. Less than 9% of plastics were recycled in the, uh, the US just uh, a couple of years ago. To put that figure into perspective, it's an even smaller than the national recycling rate for all materials, which is roughly 32%. As members, as members of this uh, committee have heard me say more than they want, more times than they want to remember, but uh, I like to say, find out what works, do more of that. And uh, these uh, policies actually can work. For example, the extended produce responsibility program in Br British Columbia was able to achieve an impressive re residential recycling material rate of 86%, 86% in 2022, up from 30 7% in 2004, pretty amazing, uh, before the, uh, the program was implemented in, in, in that country. And as uh, we'll hear today, there's also been a surge in private sector support for extended producer responsibility uh, policy. And why is that? Uh, we know that most Americans want to make sustainable purchasing choices, and that number is growing. According to a 2020 survey indicated, or conducted rather by McKinsey, more than 60%, more than 60% of respondents said they would pay more for a product with sustainable packaging. And large consumer brands have noticed most, many companies, for example, have established ambitious uh, sustainability goals, such as using a minimum amount of recycled content in their packaging. And extended producer responsibility policies can help producers meet those goals.
However, it's worth noting that the extended produce responsibility policies on their own will not fix our waste uh, management system. These policies must work in tandem with other investments in infrastructure and education and data collection. Fortunately, Congress has a track record of success in making such investments. As you may recall, uh, a part of the bipartisan infrastructure law, which was actually written in this uh, committee and uh, managed on the floor by this lady right here and yours truly, uh, and became law in November 10, 2021. Our committee worked to secure $350 million to strengthen recycling infrastructure and provide recycling education grants across the U.S. of A. Our bipartisan work uh, to strengthen our nation's recycling systems uh, doesn't stop there. And last year, the committee adopted uh, two other pieces of bipartisan recycling legislation at the urging of uh, Senator Capito, uh, Senator Bozeman, and myself, and uh, legislation which would help gather much needed data about a recycling system and improve access to recycling infrastructure in rural and disadvantaged communities. This Congress, Senator Capito, Senator Bozeman, and I are committed to seeing both of these bills uh, move across the finish line. In closing, let me just say that uh, we know that recycling is uh, a win-win. Uh, it benefits our environment, and it can also benefit at the same time our economy. That's a, uh, uh, that's a kind of win-win uh, situation that I think we all uh, look for. And that's why our committee continues to consider further opportunities to support better recycling practices. And so we're looking forward to hearing uh, from our witnesses today before we do, and I, we welcome you all. Thank you for joining us. Looks like you brought your family. That's SRO <laughs> here in the, the EPW committee. But uh, let me turn to our ranking member, Senator Capito, and thank her for, for her efforts and leadership, and, and uh, we look forward to your re remarks. Thank you.